Music is present in every known society, past and present, and music is considered universal. People of all languages, religions, and races can express themselves with music. Today, I will go on a journey with you. On the journey, history of music. Then, let's go. I will give you some information before we start to talk about history. Firstly, we have to look at how the sound that forms music is formed. Sound is produced when an object vibrates, creating a pleasure wave. This pleasure wave causes particles in the surrounding medium to have vibrational motion. The human ear detects sound waves when vibrating air particles vibrate small parts within the ear. We know how sound formed. Now we have to ask what is music? And this is a question that almost impossible to answer. Your idea of music may be really different from mine. Actually, everyone has different answer for this question. Jeremy Montagu defines music sound that conveys emotion. Have you ever shivered while listening to music? I can say that this definition describes music in the best way. But can there be any type of music without sound? Completely silent. Actually, there is such a musical piece. Song name is 433. Let's just listen to different version of this song for a while. For now for a while because I will make another video about this song. Also we will listen to this song till forever. So <laughs> you, you will understand me after listening. If you didn't hear anything, don't worry, your ears still working. Just there is no sound in this song. As you see, there is a song completely silent. There are four evident purposes for music. Dance, ritual, entertainment personal and above all social cohesion, again on both personal and social levels. It is probably that the first musical instrument was the human voice itself which can make a vast array of sounds from singing, humming, and whistling through to clicking, coughing, and yawning. <laughs> Turkey is grassroots in the province. There is a village called Kuşköy, and people still talking with willis in the village. That village name, so Kuşköy means bird village already. People imitate the sound of birds. What is the oldest musical instrument other than human voice? In 2008, archaeologists discovered fragments of flute carved from vulture and mammoth bones at a Stone Age cave site in southern Germany called Hohlefeld. These instruments date back 42,000 to 43,000 years and may supplant earlier findings of flutes at a nearby site dating back 35,000 years. The flutes are meticulously crafted. Reports National Geographic, especially the mammoth bone flute, which would have been specially challenging to make. At the time of their discovery, research speculated that the flutes 
may have been one of the cultural accomplishments that gave the first European modern human, so Homo sapiens, settlers and advantage over their now extinct Neanderthal human cousins. But as with so much of our information about Neanderthals, including new evidence of interbreeding with Homo sapiens, this conclusion may have to be revised. By the way, if you are wondering how the not names formed, you can find my video on this subject in my channel. I will add uh, here or or here, maybe both, we will see. Many of the earliest instruments had to be made of salt materials such as wood and reed as well as non-drabble. Those that reach today are fluids made of bone. The early specimens made from wing bones of swans and vulture are between 39,000 and 43,000 years old. It should be noted that some instruments are surprising. There are findings that 12,000 years ago, people made noise by hitting cave stalactites. The caves themselves served as instruments, serving to echo the sound. So what is the oldest song that has survived? The first song which not was written belongs to Sumer and is 3400 years old. The song on the tablets unearthed in the ancient city of Ugarit in the 1950s was a hymn. In 1972, it was interpreted by the astrologist and Drafkorn Kilmer by adapting it to the 7 note diatonic scale we use today. There are many different versions of this hymn on the internet. Seiklo's epitaph is the oldest song that has survived to the present day with its lyric and notes. The Seiklo's epitaph is the oldest surviving complete musical composition, including musical notation, from anywhere in the world. The epitaph has been variously dated but seems to be either from the 1st or 2nd century common era. The song, the melody of which is recorded alongside its lyric, in the ancient Greek musical notation was found engraved on a tombstone from the Hellenistic town Trellis, near present-day Aydın, Turkey, also not far from Ephesus. It is Hellenistic Ionic song in either the Phrygian octa species or Iastian tones. While older music with notation exists, all of it is in fragments. The Seclos epitaph is unique in that it is a complete, short composition. Greek written history extends far back into ancient Greece and was a major part of ancient Greek theater. In ancient Greece, mixed gender courses performed for entertainment, celebration and spiritual reasons. Instruments included the double reed aulos and the plug string instrument, the lyre, especially the special kind called a kitara. Music was an important part of education in ancient Greece and by the time a child turned 6 years old, it was considered ready to learn music. This video is the first in history of music video series. You can subscribe my channel for support musicology and thanks for watching. You made me really, really, really happy and uh, I feel like angel when you watch me. See you in the next videos. Bye.